Welcome back guys, SK Lifestyle here. And I wanted to do a quick video on five things I hate about my Sea-Doo GTI. Now, if you guys know, you've seen my videos, I love this thing. There's so many great things about it. But like I said before, nothing's perfect and this machine is no different. So let's check it out. All right, so first thing first, number one on the list. And it's definitely a feature that the Yamahas have and I really like, it's the rear storage. Now, I'm gonna show you in a second, you'll see the video coming up now. Now you see this whole back area, there should be a place to put a little more dry storage. There's just too much empty space in this thing. We don't have all the extra mechanisms and stuff and uh, equipment for the superchargers and all that. So why not allow, I don't know, a one gallon dry storage, even if you gotta lift up the whole, the whole seat, even if you gotta, you know, undo the clip right here, lift it up just so you can get to it. I'd much rather that than just, you know, nothing at all. So that said, a little more rear storage would be a uh, plus, see do. Let's do it. Think? Yeah? All right, on to number two. All right, guys, so you see this right here? That's the tow hook. Now, I've towed a lot of people, towed a lot of people. Uh, maybe I'll even throw up a clip for you guys to see some uh, people going crazy on the tube. why SeaDo didn't include an iHook. Um, just make it a little bit simpler. You already put the tow hook here. It can't cost that much more for the iHook. And SeaDo is just, it's just so premium. It's, it's just so nice. I'm surprised that all the models, especially this one, this is the 155, uh, and just at least the top of the line GTI should at least come with the, uh, the iHook. So, Let's do that upgrade. What do you guys think? Let me know your comments, questions, whatever you uh, you want to say. Let me know. Leave it down below and I'll be sure to answer. And now on to number three. So next one on the list is the mid storage. I like it. There's a lot of room. If you see my videos, you can fit about six. Six. You can fit about six uh, water bottles in the storage. You can get an idea of what can fit in here. I mean, you see in the videos, but it's kind of hard to tell when it's just empty. So, I mean, you could probably fit six bottles of water in here. I mean, that's important to know. Of course, when you go see it, you'll kind of get an idea. It's really nice. Everything stays dry all the time. But if you don't fully press it and hear the click every time, you may find that it'll pop open. You think it's closed. It sits kind of closed because of the, uh, because of the uh, seal kind of sticks together. Right, guys so you heard me talk about fuel consumption and how that was kind of important to me and so forth now this GTI it does great on gas I won't complain most days I don't even go through a full tank whenever I'm out on like Lake Champlain all day all afternoon going up and down this huge lake you know what I mean that kind of stuff tons of people then we run through like two tanks of gas but normally like a day like today we'll be running around with the ski do great that said now you can see I got a full tank here. And if you guys are wondering, a full tank is 16 gallons. But what I'll show you right now. So you see that? There's so much room in this GTI. The same reason why I asked for more storage in the rear. I'm not really sure why they can't throw in like a 20 gallon tank. I think it would be very easy I would easily pay an extra 100, 200 bucks for the 20 gallon version. Um, just so, you know what I mean, if you are on a long trip or something, you don't have to strap an extra five gallon tank to the back of your ski. 
or you know the new skis for 2018 uh, you know they have the little clip-ons in the back for little extra tanks and you guys have seen those prices those prices for those tanks uh, for those tanks are no joke so you know with all the extra space at least in these models they should have been able to do a 20 20 gallon tank um, hopefully they'll just decide to upgrade it in the future because everybody wants more time on the water and less time fiddling around on land doing all that boring land stuff right so that said SK lifestyle on to number five let's go all right so I'm gonna do this one on the move and uh, number five on the list is the color selection now if you guys have seen any of my other videos you know I love my GTI in the way it looks but there were a lot of other GTI colors in the past that I liked that you can no longer get and a lot of the greatest ones they only had for like a year or two. I don't understand that. And some models, as we know, for the higher trim, I mean like the GTRX, I love the green and black, but you can only get it in that one color. I don't understand why, it makes no sense. So that said, more color selection, and please stop getting rid of the best colors. Stop it. I love the bright, extravagant colors. They just pop on the water. And they just look so great they're timeless and they should just always offer them so that's it guys that's my five things I hate about my sea do GTI now do you guys agree do you disagree uh, do you want to add things do you have uh, suggestions for other videos you want me to do let me know SK lifestyle just leave it down below in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you let you guys know what my thoughts are and so forth and that said, guys, stay tuned for a lot of great content coming out this year, for sure. Lake Champlain is coming up again very soon, and it's going to be a hell of a summer. Hell of a summer. SK Lifestyle. Oh, and let me know what you guys think of the new intro I just put up on this video. Uh, first time using it, uh, yeah, just let me know your thoughts. That said, I'll see you guys on the water. SK Lifestyle.